Then said the rich man, Speak to us of giving. And he answered, You give but little when you give of your possessions. It is when you give of yourself that you truly give. For what are your possessions but things you keep and guard for fear you may need them tomorrow? And tomorrow, what shall tomorrow bring to the overprudent dog burying bones in the trackless sand as he follows the pilgrims to the holy city? And what is fear of need but need itself? Is not dread of thirst when your well is full the thirst that is unquenchable? There are those who give little of the much which they have, and they give it for recognition. And their hidden desire makes their gifts unwholesome. And there are those who have little and give it all. These are the believers in life and the bounty of life. And their coffer is never empty. There are those who give with joy and that joy is their reward. And there are those who give with pain and that pain is their baptism. And there are those who give and know not pain in giving, nor do they seek joy, nor give with mindfulness of virtue. They give as in yonder valley the myrtle breathes its fragrance into space. Through the hands of such as these, God speaks. And from behind their eyes, He smiles upon the earth. It is well to give when asked, but it is better to give unasked, through understanding. And to the open-handed, The search for one who shall receive is joy greater than giving. And is there aught you would withhold? All you have shall someday be given. Therefore give now, that a season of giving may be yours and not your inheritors. You often say, I would give, but only to the deserving. The trees in the orchard say not so, nor the flocks in your pasture. They give that they may leave, for to withhold is to perish. Surely, He who is worthy to receive his days and his nights is worthy of all else from you. And he who has deserved to drink from the ocean of life deserves to fill his cup from your little stream. And what desert greater shall there be than that which lies in the courage and the confidence, nay, the charity of receiving. And who are you that men should rend their bosom and unveil their pride, that you may see their worth naked and their pride unabashed? See first that you yourself deserve to be giver. 
and an instrument of giving. For in truth, it is life that gives unto life. While you, who deem yourself a giver, are but a witness. And you, receivers, and you are all receivers. Assume no weight of gratitude, lest you lay a yoke upon yourself and upon him who gives. Rather, rise together with the giver on his gifts, as on wings. For to be over mindful of your debt is to doubt his generosity who has the free-hearted earth for mother and God for father. Then a priestess said, Speak to us of prayer. And he answered, saying, You pray in your distress and in your need. With that you might pray also in the fullness of your joy and in your days of abundance. For what is prayer but the expansion of yourself into the living ether? And if it is for your comfort to pour your darkness into space, it is also for your delight to pour forth the dawning of your heart. And if you cannot but weep when your soul summons you to prayer, she should spur you again and yet again, though weeping, until you shall come laughing. When you pray, you rise to meet in the air those who are praying at that very hour, and whom, save in prayer, you may not meet. Therefore, let your visit to that temple invisible be for naught but ecstasy and sweet communion. I cannot teach you how to pray in words. God listens not to your words, save when he himself utters them through your lips. And I cannot teach you the prayer of the seas and the forests and the mountains. But you who are born of the mountains and the forests and the seas can find their prayer in your heart. And if you but listen in the stillness of the night, you shall hear them saying in silence, our God, who art our winged self, it is thy will in us that willest. It is thy desire in us that desires. It is thy urge in us that we turn our nights, which are thine, into days, which are thine also. We cannot ask thee for aught, for thou knowest our needs before they are born in us. Thou art our need, and in giving us more of thyself, thou givest us all.